Let go of the past and manifest the reality you desire. It's time to expand your consciousness and create a new enlightened transformational you by raising your vibrational frequency. We will talk about ETs, light ships, the ascending human, our ascending planet, visitations, and first conscious contact upon our new fifth dimensional Earth. Welcome to Universal Unity, New Earth Consciousness. It's time to activate a better you by embracing the white light of Source. Of Source. Of Source. Of Source. Now your host and Universal Guide, Joanna L. Ross. Good morning, good morning, good morning. This is Joanna from Universal Unity and the Universal Light with Simon Healing Tenders. Thank you so much for tuning in. And it is a beautiful fall day. Um, it's so beautiful here in Calgary. Um, the, all of the fall foliage is out and it's just so beautiful with golden leaves and beautiful colors that really truly ignite my soul. I love the autumn colors and I love moving into um, a beautiful winter solstice energy. Um, and we've got such profound energies coming off of the fall equinox and moving us right into a brand new October that's going to spur some beautiful mastery for many of us um, to create in brand new ways. And we're feeling this crisp new energy from creating this number nine mastery month that we're our last day of of September is today, the 30th of September, and we're spiraling into a brand new number 10, which is one of my favorite numbers. Um, and it's creating that sense of oneness with God and creating with that. And this is what much of our topics will be about today is mastery in its new form through what we know to be the divine inner temple of all that you are, who are you, what you exist within and what exists within you. As we look at ourselves as a divine temple of energetic mechanisms of light, we are tools of light. We are essences of light. We are God's seed of light and love coming forth and sent forth into this beautiful new array of potentiality to create and we really want to change the perspective of really what's been moving through um, from the ascension agendas from the divine heavenly hierarchies um, and why humanity is going through what humanity is going through why we have ignited it for ourselves why we have allowed ourselves to step up to the stage if you will and really present one really present each other and ourselves with new potentials with new possibilities of oneness and harmony and the beautiful essence that we are as light beings in human form, all new paradigms are swimming within us for us to ignite anew. And why, just before we got on the, 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 the live show today, um, I had a, a, a beautiful download from the masters and they were very excited to come in today and they're with us today. Thank you, Divine Heavenly Masters. Um, the beautiful masters were offering me a beautiful um, a beautiful um, summation. Um, we're going to talk about the Divine Inner Temple, which is what we um, introduced and taught in Japan, um, and how this divine, beautiful mechanism of all that we are, um, allowing us to see ourselves in new light, allowing us to see ourselves in all that we are, um, as energy, energy beings and tools, if you will. I'm just trying to find my notes from the Heavenly Masters. Here we are. It's the last page. <laughs> Divine Heavenly Masters come forward and um, are assisting us today. Um, and there's many activations. We're going to go through an alignment and activation um, just before we end this first hour, before we hop into um, talking about the crystalline children and multidimensional parenting at the second hour, of course. And the Masters offered today, with the combination of the Divine Inner Temple of all that we are, with our understanding of um, truly these final phases of ascension and what we're stepping up into, um, and we've talked about it in our, our Sacred Soul Tribe classes, is that these coming months and these coming unfolding years, if you will, will be unlike any other for our human family. It will be unlike any other for our galactic and universal family. These truly are... Um, we can't understate it enough. These are truly monumental times of change and transition and transformation. Make no mistake about it. <laughs> and why we're going to be reviewing um, as often as possible, and for those that are excited to understand who you are as a divine temple of light, how to activate God breath, how to live within the energetic essence of all that you are as an infinite eternal creator of light, of love, 
then allow yourself to um, tune into our Sacred Temple Teachings page on our website, universalunity.ca, and there are classes that um, occur monthly. And we're going to be beginning um, in our next class in October, um, right from scratch on the Divine Inner Temple and how to activate your God breath and how to activate the Christ at essence within and truly understand yourself so that you may co-create and begin in this way. We've talked about it on many of our radio shows, but we've talked about it in sections because um, what I delivered in Japan was, um, you know, anywhere between a four and six hour course. So we break it up into sections on radio because of the time that we have. Um, but the Divine Masters have come together today to, be, to tie it all together with their um, insight for us and for those that are moving forward in their path of ascension and their path of creating a new because this really feels like we're stepping into a new version of us a new higher octave of us if you will the higher octave reality of us if you will there are many that will be inspired to expand into new thresholds of sacred play with their new gifts and their skills that are coming online as masters <clears throat> you are more than able to use the tools that god has divinely gifted and be inspired through your excitement to create. We've offered many systems and we've offered through many different channels, through many different inspired beings, aspects and ways to understand and stories and parables to understand what truly exists within. And we're at a, we're at a beautiful, profound moment, this, this teetering point, if you will, in which we sense there are so many when we tuned into the collective frequency. We sense there are many beautifully talented and gifted um, light workers and healers and, and parents and, and children. And there's, there's that essence of, well, I'm not sure if I quite know what to do because each and every one of us are stepping into new profound light fields we've never stepped into before. And as we said in some of our shows, because I've experienced it, Joanna, I've experienced this sensation of, well, this is a completely unknown territory, even though I feel quite confident in who I am as a divine light being, what do I do, you know? And we're truly, the Ascended Masters have come forward through me today, and they're here with us right now, and they're, they're, they're behind me, if you will, and they're coming through me in their energy essence, and you'll be able to feel it if you so desire to open up your divine sacred heart and create this encoding activation with us. And those that are healers, those that are inspired to truly create, those that are inspired to truly move forward with the excitement of their divine sacred heart and Mother, Father, God within them. Allow yourself to know that you have the tools and you have the skills and you have the wisdoms and intelligence to begin to break three, to break through all that you've ever known and begin creating. There's nothing to wait for. Allow yourself to be bold, to be dynamic in all that you are and begin your creative journey, your creative exploration of self, and dance and celebrate and be in joy in this exploration with God. And in our beautiful class, we're going to talk about um, this beautiful harmonization within all that you are as essence, within all that you are, within this omnipresence of light that we exist within. Remember, we exist within quantum omnipresence of love, quantum omnipresence of light. And why week after week after week, we bring forward concepts and musings of vast universal threadings and energy so that week after week after week and day after day and moment after moment, when you are inspired to, to think and muse and create those concepts of joy and imagining and infusions through your own creative dynamic tools that have born and birthed within you. And each moment that you create that excitement to say, well, I, I have these beautiful tools within me. I'm creative. I'm imaginative. I can inspire myself. I can realign myself to higher threaded frequencies. I can infuse myself with light and joy and love. I can ground and center. I can envision my chakras spiraling in balanced oscillation. I can infuse light through all that I am. I can visualize it. I can see it. I can sense it. I can taste it. I can hear it. These are the innate tools that each and every one of you have, spiraling within, moment for moment, breath for breath. And so the Ascended Masters are coming forth to say, allow yourselves the joy, allow yourselves the permission to be the master that you are and begin. Allow yourself to release the fear, to wash your fear, to cleanse your fear. And step forward and shine your light. 
as your soul song has been spiraling and whispering and giving you cues with synchronicity and how the divine beautiful masters and archangels and your divine celestial teams and your higher self has been gifting you cues and symbols throughout your days, have they not, dear lighted ones? Whispering to you words, you can create this. You know what you're doing. Go within, go within, you can do this. And they don't necessarily come forward and say, in the ways that we sometimes like to hear, well, create your center, create your breath. Now infuse this color. Now infuse that color. Now bring your hand in this motion. Now bring your hand in that motion. Now infuse love. Now send out love. Now release. It's not step by step, dear lighted ones. For that's for you to create. That's for you to play and dance with. That's for you to sow. And this is why these times are so very exciting. Because those that are threaded within the heart of all that they are, and you are listening now, for we sent you through the etheric chambers. These are the higher selves of you coming forward to say, you are gifted with such divine and heavenly gifts, dear masters of light. You have come here through space and time to allow yourself the accumulation of all that you are, threaded in all dimensions and all vibrational realms, so that you may know. This is your time to shine, dear ones. Gather forth your light. Call upon all aspects of you to come forward in this now moment and shine this light that you are. Thread it down through your crown chakra, through the divine inner temple of light that you are, spiraling within your pillar of light, flowing God essence and God particles through every fiber of your being. Awaken, Master, awaken, for you are ready to create. What are you waiting for? In this beautiful empowerment and inspiration to start our beautiful weekly show allows each and every one of us, and myself included, to move beyond acting small, to move beyond those residues of fear and lack of for they have served their purpose, they have served their lessons, and if you so desire, free will of course, you can choose to let them go. For oftentimes, as we said in our beautiful weekly um, Ascension article that Jamie from Awakening Our Truth has so um, graciously posted, thank you Jamie from Awakening Our Truth on the YouTube channel, and um, Tina has this link up, it's called Divine Heavenly Breath. And this YouTube um, article that um, we wrote and Jamie has created a beautiful, lovely, um, soft, Christed consciousness color of that beautiful light pink um, frequency infused with beautiful, subtle motions and movements of sacred geometry. And this beautiful um, article allowed us to, to often go beyond the lessons that we've already learned and we see them cycle back within our daily reality over and over and over again until we refine that choice as a master to say, I've learned this. I'm done with feeling small. I am done with the aspect of self-sabotage or thinking that you can't do it, or thinking that it's not yet time you have to gather more skills or gather more information. Dear lighted ones, I know you are here. The wisdoms are within you, bubbling. The intelligence is within you, peaked and ready. You are God spark brimmed with potential. You are flowing over, dear lighted ones, with light. Do you not feel it is ready, dear lighted ones, to step into your master? Essence of all that you are. For many of you just ache for it, do you not? Many of you sit within your sacred time of joy and silence with Mother Father God, as Joanna has so many times in her own sacred alignments, sacred invocations of prayer and initiation. And in those moments that daily life shows her yet once again of her limitations and what she's gifted to herself as limitations. 
and she goes within to align with Mother, Father, God, and aches for the fulfillment of reunification to her wholeness with God. So that she may sense and feel and know and hear and gift the profound light wisdom that bubbles within her. And eons of Akashic patterning and ego creeps forward through the veins to say, well, maybe you're not quite ready. Maybe a, a reliving of that Akashic lifetime might come forward once again and those little aspects of fear come forward. And she leaves herself feeling small for a moment until she realigns once again to Mother, Father, God. And Mother, Father, God always reiterates time and time again. You are a master of light sent through time and space. so that you may create and joy. For a new beginning is before you, dear lighted ones. And you are such masters. Release the ideologies of being small or that you may not be ready or that you may need to gather more wisdom or insight or that you may not have the divine lighted skills that you do and we are telling you that you do. You are heavenly and you are pure and you are ready. And how may you shine your light? And thank you, dear Heavenly Master, living through me in this moment of now. <sighs> well, what a way to start a beautiful fall. Last day of September as we move from one mastery moment to another. And I see these beautiful thresholds of vibrational reality being offered before us, dear lighted ones, in the etheric chambers for all those who so desire to step upon the light fields of something new. And I see a beautiful, beautiful grassy field, a grassy knoll, if you will, into new frequencies of thought, new frequencies of thought form from higher intelligence, you. Meaning that as we go through these final phases of ascension, the sacred triads, your soul teens, if you will, all versions of you in higher dimensional form coming with you to merge with you is what's called the sacred triad that moves within the dimensional being of all that you are to create what is known as that light vehicle, the Merkaba. That is your interdimensional travel vehicle of light that you have been co-creating for this unique and special lifetime. And you can tap within its essence and its intelligence at any time, dear lighted ones. For it holds the keys of all that you are, interdimensional, universal in every way, divine and eternal, limitless, powerful and profound, filled with your most infinite essence. And the sacred triad of beings that you've chosen in special contracts, within councils, within your sacred communion with Mother, Father, God, and how you may serve. And how may you explore all that you are, lifetime through lifetime, moment for moment, now through now. And so many are moving through these profound and dynamic sensations they must just begin, but they don't know where or how or why or what. There is no blueprint, dear lighted one, step by step. A to B to C to D. And this is the most exciting offering and why we chose to come forward. For it is within the unknown that every master is made. Make no mistake about that. For it is beyond your comfort zone, is it not? We tell our children. For growth occurs in that moment that you step beyond into a new breath. And infuse it with your God essence, your oneness with God in all things. 
It is in the oneness with God that is all you need to know. It is in the oneness in breath with God. It is the only path. And it will take you in all directions everywhere of light and love, benevolence and joy, exploration, discovery, breath by breath, heavenly breath. No plans needed, dear related ones. For you are profound and you will open to the all that you are threading you into the dynamic experiences that you sense so, so surreal and so lucid that they seem unreal, but they are. Threading you into new frequencies of play. And literally, that's how it will feel. A cue, a whisper, a sound, a word that keeps coming up, a symbol that keeps reoccurring. The greater soul aspects of you threading you, those golden threads of you. Found in symbols, found in the whispers, found in the spaces between notes, between letters, between breaths. That's the majesty of creation, dear masters of light. And each and every one of you come with a divine and beautiful gift, with a divine and beautiful story and soul song to weave and sing forth so that it may, with your own infusion and your own creative way, your own creative coloring, your own creative mastery to create and invent and piece together in your own unique way, this is the excitement. This is the unknown. This is why you came forward. For these are new playgrounds of joy and liberation. And as you thread in the oneness with God, as you thread in the alignment with Mother, Father, God, no ill can come of it. So you may release the concepts and the ideas of not being ready. For all lifetimes have brought you here. Dear Masters of Light. Thank you, dear Masters. And they have um, offered us as well in this beautiful um, Reminder to myself as well, I've been moving through tremendous releases this week, profound releases, <laughs> completely taking me on a new wave um, of experience of who I am within the grander creation, seeing greater threads of um, omnipresence of myself as I've been practicing these unique tips and tools that I have remembered um, through the divine inner temple of all that I am, remembering who I am as an energetic being of light, as an energetic gift that I can um, create new tools and wisdoms with and create anew. And that's what it's for. It's very exciting. Creating new, new, new plays, if you will, um, to be seen, to be heard, to be experienced and explored. Um, and so it's really exciting. But they've also said that you have earned your mastery. Release the fear that you need to accumulate more wisdom and skill. It is within you to begin. Are you hearing the whispers that all of God's offerings are gifted within and upon. And truly, that's how Mother, Father, God speak. It's not profound noise and chaos. That's of our own creations. When we create that friction and we're not aligning and we're not allowing and we're not surrendering to the divine self of all that we are. And we think that God and love and creation is outside of us, somewhat separate from us. That's the friction that we have created, and friction causes chaos. Mother, Father, God are felt within the whispers. The beautiful subtleties of nature and the glow within the trees as the seasons change. And even if seasons don't change where you live, the whispers are always felt within all things. 
And they're being gifted to each and every one of you. Make no mistake about this. This is the heavenly hierarchy speaking through Joanna. Each and every one of you will be gifted your own unique symbols and cues to further align you to greater excitements of all that you are. And you are being celebrated in this time, dear lighted ones, for your ability to create discernment for yourself on what feels good and true for you. For when you allow yourself to slip out of alignment of your heartfelt communion with Mother, Father, God, you can feel it. It just doesn't feel like you. It feels a little off. We get it. We know it. But within a moment, within a breath, You can realign. You remember your mastery. Your mastery is once again aligned. It's always there. It never goes anywhere. But it is the master that brings its perspective back to center. I am a master and I can flow. I surrender and I open to God's gifts. I am one with God in all things, in all breath, in all creation. I'm aligned with my light. I am a radiant seed of God, and how may I create? These affirmations and invocations, make no mistake about it, are threaded with sacred tones. With sacred vibrations, geometry and math, synchronicity and a little bit of joy here and there sprinkled with you. And as your teams work with you in this moment of now, dear lighted ones, they are sprinkling you with divine sacred light, the beautiful orb that you are to give you love and empowerment for these phases that you may walk through may be unknown, but we know you can do it. For you have brought yourself here, have you not? With great joy and excitement to serve. And oh, what light you carry. And if you may, just take a breath and ground your feet within the sands and soils of Gaia. And feel your feet wrestle upon the beautiful sands and soils of all that she is. To feel your oneness with her. To feel your loving, benevolent threading with her. Your marriage, your similitude with her. And as your breath fills the cavity of all that you are, envision the God and codations within that breath and your team standing above and behind you and all around you creating a beautiful circle of light. And within breath you can feel the encodation spark, the multidimensional bodies of all that you are come to life, dear ones. For there is God particles sprinkled all over you in this moment of now within the breath, within the divine majesty, gifting you now. And you feel your presence with Gaia and these God encodations flow through you, the divine temple of all that you are, through that pillar of light grounding you into the center of her heartbeat. And these God encodations change and shift within your breath, within your unique essence of creatorhood, and you infuse your unique signature with these God encodations and you thread it through the sands and soils, through the very vessel of all that you are, the multidimensional layers that you exist within. Layer through layer, sediment and rock and energy and consciousness and spirit to her crystalline heartbeat. And she is forever changed with your unique signature that you have just infused with God particles of you. She then so excitedly gifts it back with her breath and through the infinity symbol, moving through your divine sacred heart so that it merges once again with Mother, Father, God with you. And your own unique signature has just changed with Gaia's infusion to you. The reciprocation, dear lighted ones, never ends. It's a constant flow of breath, in and out, spiraling to infinity and beyond, ever changing the essence of 
the omnipresence and the harmonic song that we exist within. Breath by breath, threading through threading. And when you open your divine sacred heart and your hand is placed on the center for you, desire to feel who you are in a new way, the master coming to life. And as your team stands circling you with the divine essence of all that they are and the higher self of all that you are, and the divine sacred mind, your higher self, linking in with infused breath of God particles. And you can feel the interaction of breath through your multidimensional bodies, through the beautiful crystalline essence of Gaia, threading back up to the omnipresence of all that you are and threading back down again in infinity shape of existence through you. And you feel the breath moving, portals of light, portals of love. Thread it through the center of all that you are to be recreated breath by breath, moment for moment. God gifting you as you come to life. Do you remember your oneness in breath, dear lighted ones? Do you remember within breath the mastery that you hold within? What you know to be true about light what you know to be true about its healing properties and how it may be used through creativity and intent and harmonics, how it may be used as it threads its way through your masterful body and your masterful touch of pure intent, of pure love for you human brethren, of pure love for your celestial and universal brethren, for you are within it all, are you not? And as we allow ourselves to remember the masters that we are, we remember those moments that we've made ourselves feel small, and we bring that in to create love and wholeness and oneness with it. For we understand those are aspects of ourselves allowing us to remember the universal child that's calling out to be held, calling out to be loved, calling out to be understood. For in our joy and our excitement to experience separation, we also have experienced so much pain and tragedy through the physical, mental, emotional, etheric aspects of all that we are, constantly healing soul fragments, constantly being called out do you remember how to love me? I'm that child that was abandoned long ago. And the master steps forward in all that the master does. I forgot for a while, but yes, I remember. I will face every fear. And I will look it in the eye, for it is me. To be known, to be held. To be made real in a new world where light and love and peace and harmony are for real. And we can thread it anew with breath. For all of creation is supporting us in this moment of now and you can feel it move through your veins. And your heart becomes just a little bit bigger. With every moment that you reach out to bring forward and entangle with love those fears and those less thans, in those moments in which you create smallness within yourself. And you create the grand light that you are every time that you do, and that's why you are a master of light. You know how to illuminate through love. You know how to illuminate through peace and harmony and compassion to all. And as we feel ourselves become grander within light, to become grander within breath, we are remembering how truly infinite and eternal we are and how threaded with all things we are. Thus, therefore, opening the portals and ignition 
of those quantum remembrances threading to you like the golden threads God gives you. Your alchemy. Your tonal mastery. Your light wisdom techniques. Exciting. Being whispered. Being shown to you in pictures and symbols and pictographs. Being gifted in the symbolism through nature. And the master you are, you go within to seek the meaning and the story within it all. For that story is you, that song is you, that note is you. Are you remembering, dear lighted ones, the elegant song we exist within? And how all that you are is gifted in breath. All things in breath. And the remembrances that we have been brought forward from the divine heavenly masters and hierarchies in this beautiful divine alignment. And as you allow yourself to see yourself threaded and infused in oneness with Gaia, you allow yourself to see threaded and infused in harmonization in breath. God, oneness in all things. I am one in this moment with God. And the next word you speak is threaded with God particles of light. Or how can it be otherwise? It is within breath and your allowance and surrender that your mastery will be shown and lived through you. And you will remember what it feels like. And it will take you to a new octave of creation, a new octave of self-experience and self-discovery. And you will begin to feel the celebration and the dance within your feet. For every particle is alive within you, ignited with breath, ignited through breath, And as you intend to open your heart and use all that you are as light, to be one with light, to be one with God and be light, the divine tool and master that you are. You are the invocation of love from God's perspective. And how divine is that? Have you thought of yourselves as an invocation of love from God, dear lighted ones? We have allowed you to explore yourselves as masters in new ways. But have you thought of yourself as an invocation from God? An initiation to step forward and create anew. For that's what invocations and initiations do. Ignite new frequencies of vibrational potential. Have you allowed yourself to explore this within, dear lighted ones? You are an invocation, a God seed. Quantum light language in motion. Are you not? You are a unique song, a unique note. Tools and gifts beyond your imagining. And you have been initiated forward through your own free will, through your own excitement and choice to co-create with God. You have all you need. For you are the invocation of a new phase. Stepping into new ways to do things and say things and create beyond our imagining. And that's why it is truly unknown. For we have taken ourselves to the paradigms of thought so far. We're now stepping beyond. And while we have come to you week after week after week, threaded with you in all ways, to inspire you, to move here and there and through and over and around, sometimes never being specific at all. For that's how we allow ourselves to go beyond comfort zone of all that was. Templates of eternal infinite potential. No end. Eternal cycles of new light 
to create through the all that we are in every new moment, ever changing and ever shifting. And heavenly breath will allow you to feel it. The divine breath and the divine master of all that you are, navigating, allowing that breath to be what that breath is through your own creative infusions, through your own creative pure intent, to be your highest version of you, threaded with God in one and all things. And the unknown will feel so very delicious. For breath after breath after breath, gifted, moment for moment for moment, your God oneness feels ever more present and real and surreal and palpable in which you create through. And it will be felt in all ways. And we'd offer this forward for those that have been moving through their own collective soul blueprints and their own collective paths and even their children because so many of you have felt as if um, you're not quite ready or perhaps not un, not sure about what you should be creating because again there are no there are no um, instructions here you go <laughs> page one to page ten follow the steps and this is why we came forward. It's the very reason why we came forward. To step forward within your next step. To breathe within your next breath. Knowing you are new. Knowing that you are a master of light to create anew. And the light fields are forever changed. The omnipresence is forever changed. And within this breath. The all is forever changed. And we can create the perspective through the divine temple of all that we are and see ourselves through profound, eternal, infinite specks as God sees each and every one of us, experiences each and every one of us. The eternal light beings that we are that can create that we are aspects of in all realms, all dimensions, all threads, all forms, all vibrational frequency particles we are. And it is through our perspective that we ignite. It is through our creativity that we ignite. It is through our divine open heart with Mother, Father, God, and our excitement and joy to be one in this ignition to create anew. And I have been practicing with divine breath and truly holding my divine breath in oneness. I am one with God in this breath. New cycle of breath creates. I am one with God in this breath as I thread and I sew myself with Gaia. I center as one. And breath brings the stillness and the similitude and the presence of your mastery. And you can feel it at your divine sacred heart. And through that divine sacred heart, you begin to create through your imaginings, through what you're gifted from the divine higher self, from your celestial teams, from your own synchronicities you are creating from the grander soul version of all that you are. Well, she's ready for a new, a new experience. Let's thread her this. Oh, well, she did that. Let's, she's acting on that. That's really wonderful. Let's give her something over here. She wants to work on this. Okay, let's give her something over here. Maybe she'll see this symbol. Maybe she'll see this, this beautiful color that will ignite an area within the chakra that will spiral at a new oscillation. Let's try this. Infinite particles of you gifting yourself. Infinite aspects of God gifting you. New ways to perceive all that you are. New ways to see all that you are. And yes, once in a while, we allow ourselves to sense the fear, to sense the limit, the limitations we've gifted ourselves or those soul fragments. And in those moments are two blessings, for we see ourselves within it. Every time there is a moment of fear, 
Bless it. Bring it forward. Offer it in. I can love you. I can create wholeness with you. I see where I feel this abandonment. I see where I can sense this limitation. I'm going to tell you right now, you are eternal. Do you feel God spiraling within you? Dear soul fragment of all that I am. And I will bring you forward. I will show you. For I am you and you are me. Come on in for some love. Oh, divine heavenly child. For you have earned your place upon this stage, dear lighted ones. You are a master to create, to imagine, to fuse with breath, to fuse with your pure loving intent, to have it live through you, through your open heart and your surrender, to be one with God. And just watch the magic unfold. You don't have to know how it will unfold. Let it go. There are no details to know. Let it go. The how-to is up to God. You are a master of light. Light lives through you. And all else is the divine creator to unfold in all its majesty. We are the igniters of imagination. We are the igniters of inspiration. We are the igniters of light and love. We are the invocations of love. Breath from God, the very heart, the very heartbeat, the adoration for us to experience our divine loving essence, our isness, our illness, to see ourselves in all ways, to experience ourselves in all ways. And to sense yourself as a beautiful temple, an infinite temple of light. Fields and fields and threads and threads and layers and layers of light. And if you so desire and if you so get excited, you can ask yourself for a new inspiration, a new threading. Oh, I'm excited to try this. What about some alchemy? I'd like to remember my alchemy. I'd love to remember my beautiful Reiki skills, my healing with my hands and the portals that I have within me. For you are a temple can be activated in any way. Infinite eternal light living through you, living through the words you speak, living through the light that you emit, living through your intentions and your higher thought words, your higher thought forms, pulsating moment for moment, giving and receiving information and intelligence and wisdoms and light, ever moving, ever alive ever shifting in this divine dance. And what a beautiful golden hue that you are, dear lighted ones and masters, to remember who you are. And as the fall season offers it, its colors and its beauty to you, see yourself within it. For that's why Gaia and the elementals and the Elohim and the creator gods and all that is offers the diversity that it does so that you may see yourself within it. To feel your oneness within it. To breathe yourself within it. As it breathes through you. What a delightful dance, dear light at once. And how may we create. And in these beautiful um, stories that we thread for you about uh, allowing yourself to perceive yourself as a beautiful divine temple of light, a temple of um, energetic forms and frequencies and threads and potentiality, and allows you to see that it's an infinite array and an infinite canvas of potential that you may color and paint and create with, just as too is the harmonic song that we exist within. Note for note, breath by breath, we create something anew. And so allow yourself to feel the sacredness and how all of creation presents you with its diversity of color and beauty in nature and potential and possibilities. Feel your sacredness within it, for that too is your potential. Otherwise, you wouldn't have allowed yourself to create it, to be viewed, to be experienced, to be sensed in every way. Are you seeing the grand master that you are to create? 
to create color and sound and movement, the elixir of love, the divine and heavenly breath, ignites it all. And we hope that we have allowed a bit of this love light that's flowing through us to remind you of who you are and what exists within you and what you exist within and your vastness to be the master that you are and to come forward and play. There is no playbook. We are walking into the unknown and how exciting and beautiful it is. And why fall reminds us of these beautiful golden hues that we are stepping forth into as we create it. How utterly beautiful. And so after um, the show today, I'll post a few pictures of the fall foliage um, that um, I've had in my week this week, and I'll share it with you. And you can allow yourself to really soak within those colors of inspiration um, if you don't see them in your um, you know, local environment. And you can even do just Google some images of um, beautiful autumn and fall colors. And just allow yourself to soak within the vibration that color offers, the, um, uh, the, the vibrational shift that colors allow you to feel. And this is why, you know, we offer divine light wisdom, because light wisdom is a vibra vibratory offering and it shifts and changes the alchemic frequencies within you, alchemic um, and particles within you. Then you as a master can then go in and infuse your own creativity, your own joy, your own excitement, your own love, and however you so desire, whatever you're excited to create in any one moment. This is why you are a master coming forward to create. And we are simply reminding you of what you already know and how lovely and exciting this dance is and why we wrote our number three book that we did. So thank you. Join us after the break and we're going to go within the multidimensional parenting and crystalline children and we're going to inspire and empower new views and perspectives. So tune in after the break. Thank you. You've been listening to Universal Unity, New Earth Consciousness with Joanna L. Ross. Live every Saturday morning at 10 a.m. Pacific. 1 p.m. Eastern, exclusively on the KCOR Digital Radio Network to explore, empower, understand, inspire, and further connect with this higher state of consciousness. Please visit universalunity.ca. For more information on the host, Joanna L. Ross, please visit her KCOR Digital Radio Network show page, Universal Unity, New Earth Consciousness. You're listening to the all-new KCOR, The Core, broadcasting from Las Vegas, Nevada, the entertainment capital of the world. Hell yeah, in a little place called Area 51. Let go of the past and manifest the reality you desire. It's time to expand your consciousness and create a new enlightened transformational you by raising your vibrational frequency. We will talk about ETs, light ships, the ascending human, our ascending planet, visitations, and first conscious contact upon our new fifth dimensional Earth. Welcome to Universal Unity, New Earth Consciousness. It's time to activate a better you by embracing the white light of source of source of source of source now your host and universal guide joanna l ross welcome back welcome back this is joanna from universal unity and universal light wisdom and healing centers and we're still working on our website we're going to get that up and going and launch soon and um, we're going to be continuing the sacred um, temple teachings our monthly classes for those that so desire that are moving through their mastery and re in remembrance of their um, their light wisdom and their skills that they have within that they're here to bring forward and create in beautiful joy and excitement with and we're also going to be starting um, it's a sacred sharing group on Sundays it's going to be every second Sunday and um, it's going to be um, a beautiful 60 minutes of just prayer and invocations and sending love light out um, through us and creating that beautiful, um, really high vibrational um, um, centering for the week. And so, um, and it will be um, a free um, offering as well. Um, anybody that so desires can come forward and just gather within um, a beautiful high vibrational group, um, as well as um, just sitting in thoughtful prayer 
and thoughtful, open heart, a manifestation form of who you are as a divine master moving into new fields of play. Um, and so I'm seeing many beautiful visions right now. So thank you um, to the omnipresence that's moving through us because there's so many that are awakening within these high vibrational offerings. So uh, we thank you. Um, and we didn't. We just started in with our topics with the beautiful masters coming in and um, circling and um, being present within the etheric chamber. So thank you. And we kind of jumped over our topic. And um, our topic today, um, um, I don't even know if I really had a topic. Um, we were going to be um, further discussing the divine inner temple. And we just started uh, moving within this beautiful omnipresence of wave, and the wave of love. Um, maybe that's what our title will be, the omni wave of love. Um, that we exist within. And we brought it forward, I guess, a couple of weeks ago. I can't remember when. All moments are moving into this now moment. Um, but we, we talked about the omnipresence and, and understanding who we are um, threaded within um, the prime creator, source. Allowing ourselves to see all that is, consciousness as all, all that is, be the experience of particles of moment for moment for moment vibrational information moment for moment for moment it's not really a, a time or a place or a location all things are vibration and so allowing yourself to see and be one with that omnipresence being one with that moment with god can allow you greater um, inspiration and flexibility and um, malleability to have all of those moments that you're here to create with come forward through you, flowing through you. Because we do create resistance when we're thinking, well, what am I going to do? How am I going to do it? All of those questions allow that resistance to kind of crop up. And it's really not up. It's really not. Um, it's not up to us to say, well, this is how I'm going to do it, step by step by step by step. The how-to is God, and it just happens when you just begin. And so those who are excited that know that they and sense they've been getting the cues, they've been getting the symbolisms of their gifts and their skills. They've been ignited in dreams through um, seeing crystalline, um, crystalline objects that they work with light and these wands that they're working with light, these light wands that higher dimensional frequency realities work with um, for healing um, and for manifesting and for creating and co-creating with God light, with God intention. And so we use many different tools. We use many different gifts and techniques. It's all within us. We've been here many times. <laughs> We're on many realms right now. It's about our perspective to open up to see yourself as that omnipresence. Say, so, well, I'd love to use this, this beautiful healing skill. I've got a bit of an ache here and I've got some movement of energy going on here. I'd like to see if I can create this beautiful crystalline rod. And I'd love to use this rod as it moves across my body in a scanning type of motion. And I'm going to infuse some creative color with it and some beautiful infusing of love. So allow yourself to begin. Allow yourself to understand you are this master. Allow yourself to understand how profound you are. Allow yourself to understand how playful and sacred and beautiful and joyful this can be. For we are the example that we are now showing our children to say it's okay to come and play, dear lighted ones. You are masters. You know what you're doing. Come forward. You've got beautiful skills and gifts to create and explore. Let's begin. And we had a beautiful week um, with the crystalline children. We had a beautiful week in exploring who we are and really um, kind of relaxing into this whole thing, this whole concept of, um, you know, moving away from the traditional um, school concept and creating through what, um, what we know to be light wisdom and creating a relaxed sense of who we are. And the more relaxed I am, the more relaxed, you know, obviously the children are, the more relaxed I am in my own innate skills and flowing within my own mastery and my own divine mother essence, then so too are they free and willing to go and explore in their unique creative ways. And what we wanted to bring forward for the multidimensional um, parenting this week, and it can go right within the topic of the omni wave of love that we're all experiencing, is within the divine inner temple of all that we are. Understand that the children, too, are divine inner temples. They are a temple. Their physical body is the physical temple. The chakra systems within them are the energetic um, the, the energetic systems, if you will, that assist in aligning, bringing forward information and stories and wisdoms and skills, as well as healings. Any areas that have been resistance or blocked will show up in the chakras. But allowing them to truly understand who they are is understanding themselves as divine inner temples of light, their chakras, their healings, their divine sacred heart with Mother, Father, God, their divine sacred mind as the focal point that can create that beautiful 
beautiful heartfelt when you create that that merging with the divine mind with the divine sacred heart and you can see that thread merge that's the that's the profound manifestation thread when you thread all that you are at the solar plexus and the divine sacred heart and you create that focus of thought high vibrational thought with your pure loving intent with your solar power all of those energies go in to create the manifestation that we see in physical form we create as masters in this way the light wisdom that we're using nothing else light wisdom within us all within us within the children even more so they've come here with the crystalline encoding within the dna that can be sparked they're remembering who they are as a collective these crystalline children they remember that they're already threaded together which is different than how we were when we were brought forward because we were brought forward with the veils and the illusions that we were separate from everyone however because of the evolution and the ascension programs that we exist within right now and because of the state that we've allowed ourselves to get in these beautiful divine crystalline children have come forward with the innate knowing that they're already threaded with one another however their outside their outer reality allows them to see something quite different and experience something quite different and those of us that were crystalline children from many years ago can feel the similarities in the frequencies however they're threaded as their collective they're threaded in that knowing that they already are one but what they see and what they experience is so very different. And so it's it's important for us to understand that all that we know ourselves to be as divine temples of light, so too are the children. So too are they masters in their own right. So too are they the masters of their own creative light wisdom. So too are they masters in their own innate healing. And the more that we can allow these potentials and possibilities to be threaded <laughs> within our daily conversation, and just have it be placed out there as seeds of light, as seeds of potentiality. I know you can do it. You're a master in your own healing. What does your body require of you? Are you listening? And my daughter has just done an incredible job of listening to her multidimensional bodies. And when she eats something and her body is feeling a certain way, she's quite attuned to it now. She says, Mommy, I don't like how my body's felt. My, my body just doesn't like that food anymore. She's really paying attention, and I, I just give her great praise and, and, and great gratitude and empowerment for her allowing herself to know that. Wow, that's really great. Do you see how you just did that? You're just attuning to a part of your body that's speaking to you. And know that you can do it for your emotions. Know that you can do it for your mental state. Are you feeling tired? Is your, is your mental activity feeling tired or overwhelmed? Tune in. You can do it. Remember. They already do. They just need to hear the environment around them, support them and what they already know. And that's what we've been missing. Because we haven't known. <laughs> Nobody's come to us saying, you know, help the kids out here. But we're saying it now. We're stepping into these new paradigms of behavior, new paradigms of higher intelligence, new behavior of new beginnings. And why in all that we are, we create these threadings and these musings and the divine omnipresence of, of love that we exist within and we're going to thread it in a myriad of ways so that each and every one of you can be inspired and ignited in your own unique creative ways that you're here to create not by going off someone else's playbook or someone else's divine plan through your own innate gifts your own innate skills that we then show our children as being the best examples of following our unique gifts and soul blueprints this is an excitement right now it might change tomorrow but right now I'm feeling really good let's do this and have it be okay to shift and change. We're here to explore. We're here to create new. There's no, there's no rules as far as go here, do this, go here, do that. Now try this. Now put this color in. That's not how it's going to be, dear lighted one. So we can let that go. And we can step up into the true excitement of how we're really excited to create. Brand new as human paradigm. We've never allowed ourselves to experience this way as humans. As ascending humans, illuminated humans, alive of humans, awake of humans. And spread forth our light in our own unique ways, our own unique creative ways. And the children will so show us the way, carving new paths beyond our imagining that we've created. Continual evolution, eternal, in this omni-wave, this breath of the creatorhood, this breath of love, this breath of light, eternal. Cycling anew, breath by breath, moment for moment. 
And just as the children, and we're allowing ourselves to create new language, higher vibrational words, higher vibrational intents, higher vibrational thought patterns. That's how we change, moment for moment for moment. Well, that thought didn't feel like me. I'm going to create this thought now. Wow, this feels great. This feels great. I'm going to thread that through to my divine sacred art. Wow, this feels good. I'm going to visualize my chakras now spiraling with this new color, this new light infusion. My creativity is really, really juiced and really going now. I can create anything with this love. I can create anything. I see myself as a beautiful field of light, a beautiful temple of light, a beautiful temple of love. And while my children can sense this excitement, they're looking at me going, what's going on with mom? They then begin to say, well, I remember that vibration. I feel like dancing. And the kids start to dance and you start to dance. And they all start to feel the temples of all that they are and the God essence of all that they are just come to life in a new way. They start speaking languages they never spoken before. They start doing math that's three or four years ahead of their pace. Where this, where where they think they should be or what they've told they should be. Do you see what we're saying here, dear lighted ones? We create the fields of light for anything to bounce off of, to be the starting point of, and just watch the magic unfold. And truly, with the divine intelligence and the divine light that has come forward anything can happen miracles majesty the beautiful god in all coming to life lighting up an entire universe an omniverse in new ways and these divine children will show us so many beautiful colors new beautiful imaginings beautiful beginnings and it's up to us to create the higher vibrational platform, the higher vibrational intention, the higher vibrational musings and pretendings. And I often say to my kids, well, if we didn't have all these appointments and schedules and things to do, what would we do? Just imagine, just, just pretend. And children love to imagine, children love to pretend. And so too you as a master. How many you pretend and imagine? That's how you ignite your light wisdoms within. That's how they ignite their light wisdoms within. And the beautiful sparks and the God particles speaking to God particles. And all of a sudden, the omnipresence of all that you are. Those golden threads start feeding to you. And the golden threads start feeding to them. And they come to you. Hey, mommy, what does this mean? What does that mean? What do, I have this idea. What do you think about that? Empower, inspire. Well, of course you can. What does it look like? Can you draw it out? You can create it any way you like. How about some paints? How about some clay? How about some sticks and some wires? Go forward, dear lighted ones, in the temples of all that you are. Be sacred in your thought. Be sacred in your words and your intent. And it will manifest miracles in every way. And so, too, are the children showing us. And why we come forward week after week and offer you musings and offer you from our examples and from our experiences so you can jump off from there and take it to somewhere new. Yes, so it should be. And the divine heavenly hierarchies thread their way into our conversation and ignite certain words with the light encodations. And Joanna feels the love move through her. Oftentimes, can't find words. Oftentimes, must take pauses to just feel the oneness that our etheric chamber and our soul family threads together. For it's our excitement in this oneness, our excitement in this harmony. And we are a grand human temple of light. Temple within temple, breath within breath. Particle within particle, creating anew. And how lucky we are to be together on this ride, dear lighted ones. And we have learned um, from the children this week about just relaxing into all that we are as masters. And my daughter said to me, you know, I, I said to her, I said, you know, Hannah, I'm going to be honest with you. I said, I've really, there are times and in, in moments where I think, you know, I might not know as much in math or I might not know this, but I'm going to do my best, you know. And she says, Mommy, just relax. We'll have fun. 
And she reminds me, moment for moment for moment. And I catch myself feeling small and she reminds me how much of a master I am to have given birth to such a divine being of light. To remind me, her mother, <laughs> how beautiful life can be when we just relax into our own oneness. And her hug just fills up my whole entire heart. And I relax. This is why the children are showing us the way. And we set the platform for them to be free to create. And why it's going to be important that we can continue the conversation of who we are as temple um, light workers, as masters of light, wisdom holders of light, and create new vibrational words that have never been used in the house before in your temple. Um, your house is a temple. Your body is a temple. So too are the conversations that you have with your children and create that intimacy of sacred language. Create the intimacy of that sacred God speak. Create that intimacy of that sacred union of light. And when you know, you'll know, you'll know when the God particles are being released in conversation because it will be a union of light. And you'll feel it. Just as it's felt here and now. I feel the sensations of God light moving through the etheric chambers, through the omnipresence of that beautiful wave of love. I can feel it. And I'm ignited to say something new. Even if it may not make sense to what we said a moment ago, it doesn't matter. We're threading something new. And this is how this wave is created. New quotients of light ever reached, ever stretched. For allowing yourself to understand, and they're showing me, the divine inner temple of all that you are, and you can allow your kids to pretend and play with this vision. It's very powerful and beautiful, and I've been playing with it lately, so they're reminding me. This beautiful um, temple of light that you are, and this beautiful physical body, and the emotional body, the mental body, the etheric body, these multidimensional fields that you exist within. And there's a beautiful pillar of light that runs along your spine that feeds the God breath, that activates the God breath, that nourishes with God breath moving through it up and down. And this beautiful pillar of light goes into the crystalline heartbeat of Gaia threading with her reciprocation of love and light all the way up to the omnipresence go up to infinity up to eternity and this is what we call the pillar of light and this pillar of light that i've envisioned recently is to have my teams in circle around me and i am my teams <laughs> of course i'm an aspect of myself within it all so that i myself is the master that i am and the higher self of me is infusing what i'm allowing myself to play with and create and so I'm allowing the team of all that I am to surround and encircle me, and I'm infusing the beautiful, grander versions of me as 35 and 75 feet tall beings of light in various forms and various consciousness. And I'm sprinkling on these beautiful glitter, golden particles of light, consciousness, all over the orb of all that I am, funneling into the divine temple and that beautiful pillar of light, creating new hues of oscillation, new hues of illumination, new hues of potentiation. For that pillar feeds all that you are. It activates the God of all that you are. It activates the breath. It infuses. It activates the atom eventine particles, which are the God particles. Talking with your reality. Talking with the, the fairies and the devas. Talking with the elementals and the trees and the leaves start to show you the language of light that they speak. And the oceans showing you the language of light that they speak. The ocean particles, droplet for droplet, wave for wave. And the cetaceans show you their language of light that they speak and they emit. And you begin to open up the multidimensional hearing and the multidimensional sensations that we don't even have words for begin to come online. And you're hearing sounds and ticks and aspects of movement of light. You might not understand it, but you're using it. It's integrating. It's being absorbed. As you open and allow, all is well. The encodations do what they're doing. The releases will happen. You'll gift yourself a soul memory to infuse love and wholeness and bring it in to create that oneness with. Illuminate that soul fragment to a higher quotient of light. Your cells begin to oscillate at a higher core frequency of light. You become ever more illumined. And those God particles that you're sprinkling to yourself and have the children play and sprinkle with you. 
where the children are coming in now. Thank you, children. They want to play. And they're telling me they want to play. That's them, not me. <laughs> Thank you, children. We'd love to play, dear lighted ones. We'd love to play. We're great in playing pretend for it's real. It's all real. We play with color and sprinkle and dance and light up the hearts to remember. Remember to play with God in your heart. And how does it feel to play with God in your heart? And we open our hearts in this moment of now as we had an alignment um, prepared earlier um, to do an open-hearted human play um, prayer for all of creation, um, for all of the beings that are within the um, etheric and um, auric field, um, our, our cosmic field, our universal field, our omnipresence, for all the beings that are so very excited um, from the benevolency of the highest of source creator the higher benevolency frequencies of light and love and union and harmony and are so excited to entangle with us in harmony and joy and peace um, for the benevolency of evolution and God and light. And we open our hearts to that excitement. We open our hearts to that union. We open our hearts to the beautiful crystalline children that are here now that are within us, um, the crystalline children that we are. And we open our hearts to our cosmic and our universal family. And my team has been reminding me to look into the, to look to the sky because of, um, lightship engagement is um, increasing and advancing. Um, and so many will be uh, feeling the excitement to go to your window. We'll feel the excitement to create that silent, sacred um, pathwork time for yourself and explore your dreams and what certain things in your dreams are meaning and feeling for you. And those are the predominant um, preparations for um, that conscious contact that's um, that we're preparing for. And that's coming, you know, they're showing me. It's very, very close and very um, near. <laughs> um, and so many of you are preparing yourselves um, in beautiful and elegant ways because you've created these stories of first contact uniquely in your own way. And they will unfold uniquely in your own way. Um, and I've often wondered how my first contact, I've had many contacts, but conscious where I'm fully awake and lucid and, you know, but we've had those um, lucid memories, if you will, and dreamlike memories and meditation visions and <clears throat> the sensations of them in my room I can feel. And I feel when I'm communicating with them and they're right in front of me, I feel that in a sensory um, perceptual way. But these will be physical contacts where you're actually seeing and feeling and, and smelling the essence of them with you because it's a physical body in front of you. And so these are things we're all preparing ourselves for. Um, and so they're coming in much more surreal ways. And this is why the next few months, if you will, um, and, and, you know, a couple of years, I'm not really even that extended that long, but, you know, we're already in the, the lush environment of, things that we never thought you know could occur and unfold majestically and miraculously and they are and they will and so this is why the masters came forward first thing today to say there's nothing for you to wait for you already have all that you need you always have and it's about our perspective about who we are and allowing that platform to be built and presented and empowered for the children so that they remember and remind themselves of who they are for it's truly important that all of the work that we've talked about, the Divine Inner Temple, and giving you these concepts and ideas to muse and play with creatively and energetically, so that you can then go forward and offer it as your example and say, you know, this is what exists within you if you so desire. I'm going to head over here. I'm really excited to play with this, but just know that it exists within you. And perhaps you can create something that's totally uniquely all your own, and you will. And allowing them to understand, too, that when those moments they feel challenged or sad or they're not understanding how they feel, and especially those that are going, you know, through puberty and preteens, you know, um, um, the, the age groups that they're moving within, they already feel their oneness. They're already connected at that, that unity sense. They've come here connected already. They know it. They feel it. They sense it. That's why they move through the energies shifts that they do um, through these last couple of um, equinoxes and full moons and new moons. I can see my children um, shifting with the energies as I do. 
very, it's very, and it's very obvious, you know, and their bodies will sense and feel it as they're moving through their energetic and genetic and DNA activations. But they're not being told or taught this. So it's up to us to begin these conversations and say, you know, we've got a new moon coming up. We've got a beautiful full moon coming up. Let's celebrate. And, you know, allow yourself to tune into how you feel during these celestial alignments. How do you feel emotionally? How do you feel in your heart? How do you feel with excited, creative passion? For the more that they're allowing themselves to tune into the all that they're threaded with, then they can go within, as my daughter showed me with food, She's showing herself in that threading. Well, this doesn't fit with me anymore. I'm going to shift and change. She's therefore becoming a master of her own threading moment for moment for moment that she brings herself to her own attunement. Not me telling, not me directing, not me guiding. She creates her own attunement. And this is what we're here to empower, truly, as parents. (laughs) You know, we're here to empower the foundation so that they can jump off and just go encourage and empower that they already know a tune you can do this how do you feel at this time how do you feel at that time what is your body telling you you can do it you're sensing it you're getting there you already know and it's exactly how we go about in our own healing lives and how we create those beautiful attunements and those awarenesses with our own clients because it's up to each and every one of us to create our own god attunement to know God, to feel God, to have that oneness with God in all things. That is what reunification of the divine truly is. That's what the light body is truly about. The path of ascension is not about individuation to light. Ascension and reunification is about the reunification with God. We have forgot that we were with God in every breath. We have forgot that we have God within. We have forgot that we are God creators. We have forgot, forgot, forgot. And why you will see many things unfold in the, ne- the ne- very near future that will allow all of humanity to go within and breathe to remember who truly they are and what those Aspects of cues and musings and inspirings and songs and symbols and synchronicities and coincidences are telling them. Do you remember who you are? Do you remember what you exist within? Do you remember the God that exists within you? And why all that will unfold will be directly related to our human evolution within the galaxy, within the universal evolution. And why we can always thread our way back in from the omnipresence to that God particle. Do you see the cycle we are creating for you here, dear lighted ones? Nothing is separate. We are holographic in every way. And why we can sit back and relax and rest and let go and surrender into God's divine plan. Divine orchestration, divine unfoldings. There will not be a stone left unturned. There are benevolent counsels beyond our imagining. There are benevolent counsels assisting you in every moment beyond your imagining. So let go of the ability or the desire to know all the details or the how to. Just play. You'll be excited. Go within and play. And remembering, as we started to say earlier, that the children, just as we're going through our Akashic um, um, releases, and I was through a big one this week, a big Akashic release, and I understood it at a much more expansive level than I've ever understood Akashic releases and Akashic healings. Um, And so, um, and we'll present that in our upcoming class um, in a couple of, I think it's in a week or so. but the ki- the children, too, are going through their own karmic releases and residue and, and Akashic healings. And so because they've come here, um, you know, I mean, all children, because they've come with a, d- a unique divine blueprint that each of them come with, they're each going through their releases as humanity is going through this profound ascension and transition and energy frequencies moment for moment for moment. 
And so I've allowed myself to just sit back and relax and rest and know that they're finding their way in these releases. However, it's still important for us to support and empower and advise and, um, and let, them, let them know that these are profound energy shifts we're moving through. And when you don't understand how you feel or why you feel like you feel, it's because you're linked to a myriad of infinite dimensions that you're healing and you've come here with to heal. You've come here with to soothe. Contracted within the soul family that you're contracted with. We're each moving through our own unique healings, our own unique releases. And I tell that with my children as well. When there's moments of that friction, there's moments of that frustration, there's moments of that um, uncertainty of what's, what's, what am I feeling, you know. And I often say, I said, well, we're all moving through it. We're all moving through our own stuff. I'm healing my, my, my multidimensional whole self, my soul that's threaded with all things. You're healing your soul that's threaded through all things. Our stories aren't the same. You're going to have your own healings. You're going to know when you feel certain things at certain times of celestial cycles and celestial alignments. They're going to show you in every way. And they're going to allow you to prepare and align with maybe sacred ritual or sacred invocation or greater play, greater pretend time. You'll get there. You'll, you'll do it. But to have them remember the vastness that they're all entangled with. And allow the compassion and the forgiveness to be a part of everyday conversation. And we found that really valuable as well. That we're bringing compassion and forgiveness into our everyday vocabulary. And how forgiveness is so very important to heal the inner self. To heal the multidimensional self. To heal those Akashic soul fragments that are coming forward for your healing, for your forgiveness, for your acknowledgement, for your inner compassion. Just as your children are all fragments and aspects of you, so too are we to God, and so on and so forth, up to the omnipresence. Beautiful aspects and God particles from the omnipresence and all these beautiful particles in different planetary systems and different frequencies and star systems and realms going through their own unique healings of forgiveness and compassion and bringing it into love. And why love is so very simple and the tool of love is so very simple for it's threaded within that such profound complexities of our omnipresence and the profundity of love is the way that it is for that very reason and why it can move all things and transcend all things and so it really helps bringing these higher vibrational dialogues um, if you feel comfortable and if you so desire and it's exciting for you um, because everybody is moving for their own, through their own stuff and the more compassionate we are in this understanding, the more compassionate we are to see ourselves in all beings, to see God in all beings and have it reflected back to us. And to bring in that forgiveness and compassion. So absolutely, I've forgiven myself so many times this week. I absolutely can extend compassion and forgiveness to you. For we are one. Are we not in this dance? And the children can relax in their being brought up, if you will, into the vibration that feels good for them. They understand compassion. They understand unconditional love, where it's not held back in restrictions of, you must do this before I'm happy with this. You must do that before you get um, your commendation. You must be this before that. All of these conditions that have been held outside of our divine aspect held outside of our Christed self, held outside of the God self. It was such a conditional way of living that we have been living. But we as light masters on this beautiful omni wave of love are coming forward to create unconditional essence, a state of being. And it does take moment for moment for moment implementation, moment for moment self-love, moment-for-moment practice, refinement. And what a profound gift and tool um, that we can all use in any moment, 
It doesn't matter who you're dealing with, but because children are our most, um, our, our most, you know, close and sacred family. Um, you know, we're here to set the foundation and the platforms. We're here to prepare the ground for them. We're here to prepare the ground for the beautiful things that they will ignite and they will create and they will thread through entire omnipresence, brand new. And so it's really beyond what we can um, define or describe. Um, but just know that it exists and why we're creating higher vibrational um, dialogue, higher vibrational um, language within the home, higher vibrational potentials within the home. And to have that time of um, sharing and, and um, close human um, connection is really important um, for healing. It, it just is. <laughs> and put away the phones, um, all electronic devices. Um, you know, my kids now give all of their electronic devices and it goes in one spot. Um, and so that, is, that, that, that aspect is completely taken out of the equation now. And it's just human contact. It's just human interaction. It's just human sacred remembering. It's human sacred um, creativity. It's human sacred love. It's human sacred divine um, union. And you can sense the energy shifts in you creating these small and but dynamic changes. Really small and dynamic. Because what we have missed and what we have forgotten and why we have been in the state that we have been within separation and chaos that we've created for ourselves is because we've moved away from that human, that human divine godly union, that interaction, that communion, that sacred sharing, that sacred soul sharing unconditionally, where it's a giving and a receiving, that reciprocal giving and taking of union of love, whether it's through conversation, whether it's through art, whether it's through meditation, it doesn't matter what it is it's reciprocal in all ways always has been always will be for all things are being lived through love through breath in and out the reciprocation of love and so how can we integrate the the reciprocation of love in all things in a family dinner how can that reciprocation be threaded into dinner that human divine union in dinner that human divine sacred sharing in your next meetup class, that human divine beautiful gifting of your sacred emotional and um, beautiful mental capabilities and your energetic light wisdom that you have and just open and offer it forward and say, I know I'm a master, I'm just going to create. And your sacred soul tribe will support and empower you and say, all right, Nothing to fear. Just begin. And so we can allow ourselves to soak within the myriad of beautiful lessons um, that are being brought forward from the Divine Heavenly Councils today and the Masters of Light, um, reminding us that we are, um, we are here for um, the beautiful journey and joy to have light and love live through us in the remembrance of our unification with God. And how divine it feels and how different you feel. And this is what one of the things about my own personal path and I've written about in all my books. Um, the, the, my, my inspiration, my ignition, my, my quantum catalyst, if you will, the thing that I can relate to everything um, that I want to create and I want to manifest or feel um, is that feeling that... I desire and I really um, crave and ache for divine feeling, that, that essence of God living through me, that essence of God connection, that essence of my entanglement with my teams. That is, the, that is the feeling, that is my quantum catalyst that I just get so excited about and really makes me feel like me. It makes my song of who I am come true. It makes the dream of all that I am come true and manifest in human form and manifest in light form. And when I'm offering my heart to the all and the words just flow and I'm linked with God voice and God speak and God light. And that's when the Christed vibrations of all that I gift come forward and healings occur. And the quantum activations and the God particles for those of you that sense and feel it in every way. And you get goosebumps and the hair stands up on your arm or the back of your neck. And your multidimensional bodies are telling you that something is going on here. 
designed by God to let you know that God particles are in the air and how many you create. You're being offered God presence in every moment. And you can feel and ignite with whatever quantum catalyst that you desire. And we talked about that in many shows, the equation of love, the equation of this quantum reality that we exist within, any reality. There's always an equation, gifted. We can be the catalyst one moment. We can be the, that we can see and feel the manifestation as it becomes that big, that, that big totality of what that movement has gone through, that energy path has gone through to that manifested form. You can create the catalyst to have that part of the equation come from another aspect of you or the omnipresence. And you can bring it into form by creating a portal of light through the divine temple of all that you are and ignite a new mastery scale for your remembrance. Oh, yeah, I remember if I move my hands this way, I can create a portal of light and energy. Okay, I get this. I remember this. So if I just open my heart and see what happens next and trust it, because I know I'm threaded with God, what happens? And you infuse light and love through that portal and ripples of light thread out to the omnipresence, changing all things. And this is how I've moved on my path. I remember by moving my hands or creating sounds and ignites a quantum memory. It ignites that remembrance of mastery. It ignites that light wisdom. And then I practice and I bring it forward because it's just exciting to play. This feels right. I remember this. Okay. What if I move my hands this way? This feels good. Okay. Now if I bring in a creative thought and if I bring in a color, what happens next? This is what the masters are allowing us to understand. You have all the skills within you. All the wisdom, all the intelligence, all the remembrances. How you ignite, how you create that catalyst for you to ignite those skills to come forth and live through you. It's unique and diverse for each and every one of you. And it will always be threaded with love. Always. I loved to feel the entanglement and communication with my celestial team. I loved to create the visions that I manifested and I gifted myself with God. In my third eye, in my visionary template, if you will, the etheric chamber, if you will, whatever you want to define it or call it, doesn't matter. I loved seeing my children come forward with their own unique God genius. Those love moments are your catalyst. What is it that you love? What gets you excited? How may you sing your soul song and have it gifted for all? To feel, to hear, to sense, to know, to thread with. Those are God moments. Change all things and shift you from one vibration reality to another and then to another and then to another. And you are the master creator of it all, if you so desire. And how lovely and awesome is that? And so we've gone, um, really, this, this month of September, the mastery month of number nine. Beautiful um, energies of our, our beautiful fall equinox. Um, inspiring us and catalyzing us into a beautiful new October, number 10 month. The one is I've always envisioned as the individuation as, as to who you are, as your personality self, and the zero as the God self that you're merging with and that you're assimilating with and through all things. It's always with you. It's always within you anyways. But we can see numbers as a vibration. A one is, a one is the individuated self that you think you are um, when you see yourself in the mirror. And that zero is the omnipresence that you're now flowing and allowing yourself to um, not only live through you, but that you step through. If you see um, an omnipresence of a veil, if you will, you're stepping through the veil of your omnipresence, stepping into that omnipresence state of being. And I've been practicing with it, as I said earlier, with my breath. I am one in this breath with God because God is all things. That's the omnipresence that we've been talking about, that wave, that consciousness, that light language, all things. And you can feel it. It's a vibration. It's like a, 
a beautiful soul song of God. As you step through these oneness moments, this unity consciousness moment, you begin to feel that every thought, word, and deed affects the all and how you think twice about some of the things that we say. Because you know it'll affect the all. You can feel it. You can feel that hurt. So you don't want to say that. You want to say something more profound that will enlighten and inspire and engage and illuminate. So this is walking through the veil of the omnipresence. And every time you get to a new level, a new phase of of all that you are, you'll be gifted a new one. That's the continuation of evolution in all ways. That's God's gift to you in all ways. Here you go. Here's something new. What do you think about this? Can you imagine this? Can you create with this? Can you move through this with your light and your mastery and your love? See yourself as a beautiful omnipresence constantly in motion and movement. The beautiful liquid light that you are forever moving within God's song. A new note, a new tone, a new harmonic. Ever moving, ever shifting on the wave, on the breath. So very delightful. I just love this new energy. Thank you. And I feel as if um, um, they're showing me that they're showing me how I used to prepare for the shows and I used to have everything all written out and so organized. (laughs) And they're showing me that, you know, just move in however you want to move now. You're free, Joanna. You're free. So allow yourself the permission. Allow yourself the mastery of what you've come here for. You have earned your mastery. Live through your light. And there's so many of you that listen to these shows over and over and over again because you catch something, you're ignited, you're catalyzed in different ways every time you do. And why when we offer some of the musings that we offer and the concepts and the stories and the parables, they're threaded through the etheric chambers and the divine heavenly councils through each and every one of us that exist within you. If I remember the councils are within. Sensing your heartbeat, knowing your thoughts, feeling your challenges. You're never alone. You're always supported. And in the frequencies that we are embedded with right now, there is nothing that you cannot create and miracles abound. How utterly divine. So thank you. And I offer my heart to all of the children, all universal children of all ages. Allow your hearts to sing. Allow your breath to ignite something new within you. Allow the God of all that you are to come forward and play anew. For this is why you are here. Even if you don't think that you have skills, even if you don't think that you are a healer, even if you may not even think you're on the path of enlightenment or ascension, You are here for a reason. You are purposeful. You are required. You are valued in every breath. And may you walk forward through your own light to ignite, to create, to inspire, to empower, to entangle, to engage with God in all ways that you can. For it is truly infinite, as are you. And we send forward our loving light emanations of Christed vibrational love and Christed vibrational intentions in our thoughts and in our words and in our deeds. And from the heart of all that we are and the divine godly in me, interacting with the divine God in you, know that you are forever loved and you are forever guided and supported in all ways. And so if you walk forward in that innate relaxation and surrender, miracles and magic unfold because you're walking as your God self (laughs) that's what God is miraculous and magical and so thank you and allow your children to know how beautifully loved um, and supported and guided they are and allow them to know of their magical essence and their majesty within as they hold themselves within the same light um, that we hold God um, for that's truly God's wish that each and every one of us hold ourselves within God light hold ourselves within exaltation, hold ourselves within self-embrace to know that we can heal and love ourselves and create that wholeness within. And that is the thread that is the oneness of all. 
our own innate power to be that godly essence to create all balance and harmony and all these beautiful things that humanity as a collective truly, truly desires and why we see things unfolding the way that we do. Because the energy, the frequency um, song of our collective truly desires from the heart frequency um, change and liberation and freedom and harmony. Even though there may be some that might not be consciously aware of it, but the greater heart song, the greater soul song of our collective truly desires that and it is within us to create. And so let's begin. So thank you, dear lighted ones. Um, this is Joanna from Universal Unity and the Universal Light Wisdom and Healing Centers. Feel free to log on to our website, universalunity.ca, um, until we have our new website up and going. We have our sacred temple teachings that happen monthly, as well as um, the sacred sharing and the prayer groups that we're going to have, igniting new cosmic and quantum beginnings and inventiveness for our new human paradigm, moving up vibrational threads of eternal experience so we send our love and light to you all go create go create go create we love you dear namaste you've been listening to universal unity new earth consciousness with joanna l ross live every saturday morning at 10 a.m pacific 1 p.m eastern exclusively on the kcor digital radio network to explore empower understand, inspire, and further connect with this higher state of consciousness, please visit universalunity.ca. For more information on the host, Joanna L. Ross, please visit her KCOR Digital Radio Network show page, Universal Unity, New Earth Consciousness. This is KCOR Las Vegas, home of the Digital Radio Network. Broadcasting from a shack just south of Area 51. Wait, that doesn't exist. This is the KCOR Digital Radio Network. Now for the news.